Hi honeys, it's Michelle with Books Cause Insomnia. I am here today to do a book tag. I'm doing the mid-year book freak out tag. I'm just gonna dive right into it, but I'm excited because I love book tags. I love watching them, I love doing them. If you do this tag, great. I don't tag people, but um, let me know if you do it though, because I like watching other people's tags. <laughs> I just want to watch it. I just want to hear your answers. Number one, best book you've read so far this year. My favorite book so far this year is The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. I thought this book was stunning. I'm looking forward to rereading it. I thought it was beautiful. Number two, the best sequel you've read so far this year. Most of the books that I read that are series are cozy mysteries. So my favorite sequel so far was The Kidnapped Bride. And this is by Steve Higgs. This <laughs> is just a fun cozy mystery series about a woman named Patricia. And she's on a world around the world cruise. She's going through a divorce and it's... It's just really fun. I, I love these books. I've, I only read the first two so far. I'm looking forward to getting the third one. Number three, new release you haven't read yet but want to. Okay, I've got a couple of those. Um, one of them is The Last Night in London by Karen White. I've, I've read a lot of Karen White's books and I really like them. They're kind of like old school V.C. Andrews books. Like old school though, like when it was really her writing before she passed away in the sense that there are these haunted family stories where there's something sinister that happened, you know, three generations ago. And we're trying to figure out what that is. And I love situations like that. There's a lot of ghosts in her books and yeah, just a lot of generational drama and intrigue. Another one that I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of over the moon excited about a bunch of books, but I'll just tell you a couple more, okay? Um, one, I've never read this author before, but The Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. I keep hearing Grady Hendrix is amazing, and I'm going to have that be the first book by him that I read. I'm super excited about it, though. And then one of my favorite authors that I've read so far this year is uh, Megan Collins. She wrote The Winter Sister. I'm not going to take it out, but back here. I thought that book was so good, and I really loved it. And she's got a new book coming out called The Family Plot, and that one comes out. The Final Girl Support Group comes out the 13th of July. And then Megan Collins, The Family Plot, comes out the 17th of August. And then the... The Last Night in London by Karen White is already out. Biggest disappointment. I can't even find it. I think the book ran away because I had so many mean things to say about it. But my least favorite book so far this year that was such a disappointment. Well, gosh, I had two of them. Um, one was Where the Crawdads Sing. I just, I think I heard too much hype about it. So when I went to read it, I was surprised at how much I didn't like it. And then the other one that was a huge disappointment, to the, but, but because I found it offensive, was this one. Uh, the Kiss Thief by L.J. Shen. I just didn't care for... The best way to word it is, I like I mentioned in my book review video I did of it, it is a feminist nightmare. So I found that offensive, just the mistreatment and hate towards women that was in this book, just not a fan. Um, I don't like the justification and it's okay of the whole thing either. So really made my skin boil. <laughs> Number six, biggest surprise. Okay, that one was Mother May I by Jocelyn Jackson. Have you read this? Have you? Because if you haven't, you need to. It was a really, really good book, and there was some twists that I was stunned by. 
but not in a way where I felt like I was misled. Just, it was so good. So good. Favorite new author. Okay, I have a couple of them. I really like Steve Higgs. This Steve Higgs. I really like, because I, I like the humor he puts in there with the cozy mystery. I really like Jennifer McMahon. She writes ghost stories that are very haunting and definitely scary, but in a way that I think scary movies wish they were scary, if that makes sense. Kind of hitting you where you're a little more vulnerable kind of thing. I liked, once again, the generational haunting. So good. And then the last author that I want to mention anyway was, <laughs> I got her hidden back here again, Megan Collins, The Winter Sister. I just love that book and I can't wait for her new book. And I need to get her other book that she came out. I think she's got at least one other book that's on the market now that I need to get my hands on. Newest fish, newest fictional crush. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the character that I have a crush on, people might find kind of surprising. That's okay, though. It's down here. Later by Stephen King. The main character in that book, Jamie. That would be my fictional crush. I really liked him. He was witty and intelligent and very intuitive. And I, I just loved, he kind of reminded me of my husband, really. <laughs> Newest favorite character. Okay, my Marty. Sorry, my cat is here again, just going nuts. The Charlene Harris Lily Bard series. Lily Bard is by far my favorite new author. Um, if you like the Sue Grafton Alphabet series and you love Kinsey Milhone, you'll love Lily Bard. A book that made you cry. Okay, that's pretty easy. The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. That definitely made me cry. A book that made you happy. Okay, a book that really made me happy. And I don't know where I put it. And I'm sorry, so I can't show it to you. Yeah, I don't know where it is. A Ring of Endless Light by Madeline Langle. It did. It made me happy. It reminded me of the happier points of my um, childhood and my teen years. And just how beautiful... Things were before the internet and social media took over. Of course, we didn't know then to appreciate it while this monster of a <laughs> technological nightmare was going to come our way. But it was it was really nice to return to those simpler days. Most beautiful book you've bought so far this year or received. Ooh, most beautiful. It's called Norma by Sophie Oxenen. I think that book is gorgeous. And I hope that I get to read it this year. I got it at the Dollar Tree and I can't believe it was at the Dollar Tree because it, it looks like a really good book. What books do you need to read by the end of the year? Wow. I've got a list here in my book journal. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to do in January a book journal video. I'm going to show you the inside of my book journal. An inside look. Not just because I think it's fun seeing people's book journals, but I want to show you how I laid it out and how I do it and why I make my own book journals as opposed to buying them. So that'll be a fun video that I'll be doing in January. I wanted to wait till the year was over to show you what the final finished product was. But as far as books I plan on reading this year, I could just tell you real quickly, okay? Um, the Layover by Lacey Wall Wallen. That's a romance novel. Blood Like Magic by Lizelle Sandberg. Now those both came out on the 15th, so I need to go buy those immediately. Um, Survive the Night by Riley Sager, The Therapist by B.A. Paris, 
the Final Girls Support Group. I already told you about that one. Not a Happy Family by Sherry Lapina. The Wonder Test by Michelle Richmond. A Slow Burning Fire by Paula Hawkins. The Family Plot by Megan Collins. Apples Never Fall by Leanne Moriarty. That's it so far that I have, that I feel like I have to read this year. Otherwise, I just have, um, I just, oh, I just got a order. There's a sale going on on one of my favorite book websites where I can buy used books at a really affordable price. And it's called Better World Books. I bought nine books and I didn't even spend $30. So I've got a bunch of books coming and they're, they're all cozy mysteries. So I'm going to be doing a haul of those. I definitely think I'll be reading more cozy mysteries the second half of this year. Once I started reading them again, I, I read the entire Lily Bard series in like a week and a half. And I, I just love it. And I miss cozy mysteries. I need them in my life. I think my goal now is going to be to try to read one, hopefully, between every regular book that I get. Just read a cozy mystery in between because I find them so fast and easy to read and I love them. I reread them a lot. I need more cozy mystery in my life. <laughs> I think that's one thing I realized when I was doing that romance-a-thon week was I need more cozy mystery in my life. But to me, those are romance novels. Like I feel more romantic about life in general when I read them. <laughs> anyway. So that is... It, that's my mid-year book freakout tag. <laughs> if you have any comments or questions about any of my answers, be sure to let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night. I love you. Bye.